Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to customize Winbox. So open Winbox and first thing that we're going to do is to go to tools and select advanced mode. In this mode you will have more options to customize Winbox. So there are additional fees that are now displayed. You see the session, note, group and you have Roman agent. So all of these options are now available to you, but the one that we're going to use mainly is the session uh, section. So say we're going to connect to our router and this is typically um, the default view. There's no windows or anything. So if you want bridges to be displayed and say wireless so we want these two two windows to always display when we connect to this router uh, say for registration say for instance we had some wireless client that are connected and want to see all the registration and this is a view first thing you need to do is to go to session and save as so we're going to save this session but we're going to give this session uh, a unique name. So in downloads, um, you can save it to your desktop or anywhere, but I'm just going to save it to my download. And I'm going to call this router. Router. So this is my router. So, it's, so the session that is displayed is router session. If I disconnect from this session, uh, it's still at session as in own session if I reconnect nothing because the session is just pointing to the generic session so I'm going to disconnect again and I'm going to browse to the session that I have just created download router so now the session is here I'm going to connect and now it displays the view that I've saved before. So now it's a session now is router session. But you can have multiple sessions uh, for different devices. So if I say I wanted to create a new session and uh, say for instance I select own to go back to the default session. If I open say interface interfaces and I can customize so any customization that is done to a session um, is stored all the time in that session file so even the layout so say I didn't want the MTU actual MTU display there and I remove that column and if for instance I wanted DHCP server to be displayed down here and I didn't want the client ID column. I can remove those. And this says the, all these settings will remain, will be stored in my session file. So whenever I connect using that session, the exact view, this view will always display unless I change it up. So if I go to save um, session, save as, and uh, I'm going to go back to my downloads. I'm going to call this um, client view. So I'm just giving this these session random names. So this is my client client view. So this is sup suppose this is how I normally like to view my clients, and I save it as client. So now this session is saying clients. So if I close Winbox, reopen it. By default, it is set to the own session. So if I connect again, no session. If I browse and I choose the client session, now the path is there. So when I connect to Winbox to the router, the session will remain. I remember client ID, so do the columns that I've removed or add, added, session still keeps those customization. Another thing that you could do to make it easier to go back to the sessions because some of the time if 
you're connecting to multiple devices this is what happened if you have managed device list so all right so so if I, you're connecting to your router 88.1 you can browse go to your session and say I want the route so this is my router view session and I want to set that session on this router and I'm going to call this group so this is another feature where you can actually put your devices in groups so this is my core so if this is in my core you can put a note and say this is my core router and now you can add and set so now you have created a manage list or list of device that you manage and the session is saved with it so if there's a other device say 80 that 10 was another um, was a client device you can browse go to client open the client session and say this is uh, CPE and call this client You can now add and set. I know it's it will create a new uh, item in the list. So if you look at this, see in the notes, the group, and also the session is saved. So when you are connecting to these devices, it will display the view based on what the session was customized for. So if we cost if we connect back to router. This is a view that we will get for router. Uh, and if you connect to your client view, you get the other view. This is what you would do to customize the winbox layouts, the views, columns, all of those things. Uh, so it's much easier to manage your devices um, with, with these customization. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you have subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.